Hello, it's Anne-Marie here. I thought we'd have a little play around with some sticks from the garden. Here's three I've collected earlier and some black Indian ink and some water. So what I'm going to do is put some water down on my paper just in there. This has got a bit of purple in so you can actually see where my water's. I've painted the water and then I'm going to add a little bit of black ink and just see it run. It's a bit like the wet into wet experiments I did with with colour and just to have a bit more experimentation get some of these twigs and just have a go at drawing with the twig and see what it does. Oh it's gorgeous. What's lovely about um, Indian ink is it really really spreads out. You can make quite a few of these. Just quite fun go outside the circle. Let's see what the bigger one does. So we've got a fine one. This one's quite um, gnarly. <laughs> nice word. It makes two marks in fact. That's gorgeous. I'm keeping within the theme of a circle because it's a lovely shape to kind of move, move your tools around in and you can create these wonderful abstract marks. Let's go across here. Let's try the last one. Let's see what kind of mark this, this guy makes. Fairly standard mark actually but you can still write with it and play around. Here you go. Let's have some lines going out. It's always worth investing in a bottle of black Indian ink. It's such a versatile medium. Now, just to finish, I'm going to add some a bit of water around the edge. Just going to go around touching the ink here and there. Make it run even more. Wow, look at that. Very abstract looking circle, but I love it. Absolutely love it. Anyway, have some fun. Have some experimentation. No mistakes, just do whatever you like. Thank you, bye.